Hello, buddy. This is my dragon. Today we're looking at the complete series of Lego Harry Potter collectible minifigs. All 22 minifigures that exist in the series. And, yeah, it's my favorite series. And it's really cool. This is the only series that has to be completed fully. And now it's both each minifigure one by one. So here is Harry Potter. This is it's about the older Harry Potter. He has a nice little torso and a nice face that looks kind of like just an the older version of the one the in these other sets. But yeah, that's Harry. Then Hermione, which I don't really think is the best. Also, all these mini are kind of missing their accessories, except for like some of the very very new ones that I have because because I got those on Christmas and I got and the other ones aren't. Have been for some, or have been there a bit longer, so have been in use a bit longer. But but it reminds me, I like the the hair piece is cool in that color, but I don't really know. I don't think the face is really is really the best. Like the torso is better, but I think the face and the older ones are really better. They're really hairy. It's very kind of same with the Ron, except Ron has a nice Ron has a nice hair piece and face. Though his face, the mouth's kind of a bit big, but other than that, it's pretty nice. Then we have everyone's not favorite character, Draco Malfoy, who actually is in his Quidditch role. But the only thing is, I wish they had him in like the version that the uh, other people are behind the, uh, the main trio are behind me, where they're actually like the older version instead of just the Quidditch version variant variation. But he does come with a snitch piece when you actually like get the figure. I just don't have it with me. And Loon actually doesn't come with a chicken leg in the actual set. Let's put it there because that's how she looks in the Hogwarts display. And yeah, this is my favorite minifig in the series because I like the colors and it's an alternate face. So first minifig series have an alternate face. Which, yeah, just a more regular face. I just play with these because it makes her look more unique. And yeah, the hair piece looks less yellow on camera than it does on the actual minifig. Then we have my second favorite, actually, Neville Longbottom, which, yeah, I like because I like the, um, he has a mandrake, complete with mandrake, with mandrake plant, which is a new piece altogether, put in the pot, and when he pulls the mandrake out, he's another figure to have an alternate face, he faints because... Well, it doesn't like, stay from the Mandrake, because in the movie, they just, they say he doesn't, they say he just did, because he just did, because he's Neville, and that's how Neville is. Anyway, now let's look at Cho Chang, who the only problem with this minifig is that she's way too dark-skinned, which, for that, how she is in the movie. I think it should have been the regular skin tone, but other than that, I like the Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw's outfit. And, yeah, now we have the outfit from every single type of minifigure. I mean, every every house, because in the Great Hall, you get a Hufflepuff. Um, and then, obviously, Gryffindor and Slytherin have been represented for some time now. They've been one of the representative of Eva and Eva. But anyway, then we have a Dean Thomas, who, yeah, I like the flag and, like, a lot of the pieces. He's not very, like, like, there could have been other characters he could that could have been added here except for him, but he's still nice. I still like him. He's a nice hair piece and what is it? Thin hair and dark brown. And yeah, just a very nice mini figure. Mini fig mini figure. It's very nice. I do like it. Then we have Professor Trioliway, who has who's the who's actually the second added version of it of her, but the original version was just not as good because it was just it was just the basic it looked very more just like a regular, it kind of looked more like Mr. McGonagall if he had a blue robe and a pink hat. But that pink hat was really the cool part of that minifigure. And he came in a big expensive set anyway, so. I think this and Dobby were the first two I ever got in the series of collectible. The first two I got, and then there were, I got like a bunch of Trolloway. A bunch of Professor Trolloway. I actually have two other versions of her. I think beside, I think sh she and... I think maybe Flitwick or something. Are the only two I got doubles of collecting the seat of collecting. No, and Draco. I got. I don't know if I got. No, I got doubles of Draco and 
trawl away, and then I don't have doubles of any of the other ones, which is pretty good, which is pretty good, because so, the only one I'd really want to double of, well, besides just, like, maybe Luna, and maybe, um, like, Neville to get them, like, the, the mid legs and brown, my mini fake, my sake fake, yeah. but, you know, this is a very nice mini fake with exclusive molds up all around, and, yeah. Then we have one of the figures that took me a very long time to get in the series, um, Invisibility Cloak Harry, who has that Harry Potter hair piece in the Harry Potter color, the black color, and yeah, very nice face, and underneath the Invisibility Cloak, which is just a cape piece, kind of, you have more, like, with more just stuff added, so wraps around the entire mini thing. There's pajamas with his feet, which I like the feet, I don't get why he didn't need to do mold it, but yeah. Anyway, now let's look at Mad Eye Moody, who is pretty cool as a minifigure. Minifigure, not minifigure. Minifigure. And you can say whatever you want, but I say minifigure because it makes more sense. Anyway, he has a little stick. And I probably just post. No, it comes with his wand, but no, I don't have it because. But anyway, so this is good, but if you turn it around. He's hiding a secret. There should be an alternate hair piece that's like light brown, but I don't have it with me at the moment. I think I think I put it in the chest in the Hogwarts set, but yeah, for now. But yeah, it has him a Barty Crouch face on the back of him licking his lips because that's what he does. That's what he does in the movie. In the book, they don't say it at all like that. But dual mold legs, and yeah, it's pretty nice mini figure. I thought that was a chicken leg when I first saw it. It's kind of funny. But let me have Flip, Flip, Professor Flitwick. Who's our second version? I am have the original version. I think he was in one of my comparisons. Anyway, I think this is a better mini fig than that one. And then this one, Flitwick, this Flitwick I use as when I think the other one. I think the other one I use as um I use old Flitwick, but I think when my remake CMF the um the Harry Potter movie that like those movies when I remake them or when I make them, I'm gonna use now that I have the Jacob Kowalski like, minifigures and like, suitcase and stuff, I'm gonna make use them. Them. Anyway. Then we have Cedric Diggory, who has the Tri Wizard Cup along with him. And yeah, it's a pretty nice minifigure. He's half. He's nice and happy. I like the um, torso print. And yeah, it's a pretty nice minifigure. Diggory on the back. And then we have a zombie, and zombie the free elf, he's a free elf, which on the, in real, it looks better in real life, I think, than it does in, in the, um, almost video, on video and stuff. He doesn't actually come with a gold goblet, but I put him on, have him there. He has a diary, he's a sock for Dobby, a, Dobby, a, do a sock for Dobby, which is great, because it's like a nice, Little inky page, which I like. And then a Voldemort! This, I mean, he you must not be named. Ooh, I like the old one a bit better, I like the face. And it came with Nagini, but I, 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 I don't have him with me. I'm ready to get him. Anyway, then we have a Double Door. The Almighty Double Door. Who is based on the Michael Gambon version instead of the, um, Richard Harris version you get in the regular set. Which I still haven't built the Great Hall set yet, so I can't. Compare it to compare it, but he has a nice glasses face and it's a pretty nice mini figure, an exclusive beard. And then we move on to Fantastic Beasts and the crime and, and where to find them. First, we have Newt Scamander, Scamanda, which has that same hair piece, but he doesn't fit as well. But he has a very happy face, very detailed torso, and yeah, bright orange wand, and a suitcase, which I lost the front part too. Then we have Tina Goldstein, who's actually a very nice minifigure. I like the um, I like the figure in Dimension. This is a more accurate version. The weird thing that the one in the suitcase, which I do have that set, view will be coming soon. But it, it that one looks more like the one in the Dimension from the original because it has the same face and stuff. But then we have Jacob Kowalski, who's probably my favorite of these characters. Like. 
Like, Prince of Graves is very, obviously one of the cool ones just because he's rare. But just as a minifigure, I think this one's a bit better. He's supposed to have a front of a suitcase and another pastry, but I don't know where that went. But he has another pastry. And he has a... This is a different a variation of the suitcase one. Where he actually has a smile and his suit's not covered up by the armor. We have Queen Goldstein with her little pastry. I'm just going to leave on the base plate, which, yeah, she has a very variation of the suitcase with just one single happy face and the pastry and a bit more different dress. Then we have Credence, who is a pretty good, it's not It's not a bad minifigure, it's pretty nice. He has this, this face, which makes him look more unique, but I have this other face in the back as well, but, yeah. Then we have the rare, the one and only, the rare... Percival Graves, which I think even if he wasn't really rare, he'd still be a pretty nice minifigure. But but yeah, making him rare makes him even cooler. I actually got him. I got him along with I think Luna. They got my favorite minifigure and the super rare one. But yeah, on the other side, the reason he has an extra ha um, hair piece because he can be Grindelwald. Yes, I'm Grindelwald. Anyway. Which, I like the Grindelwald face on the back a bit better than the regular set. It looks like the mustache and stuff. But anyway. That is the entire Harry Potter collectible minifigures series one, hopefully. Hopefully there's two. There's two more. I believe there's more and more and more. Cause I think this sold very well. These Harry Potter sets sold very well. Anyway, that's the end of this video. And we'll see you on YouTube.